Hey there nerds, Jimmy Palmquist here with a little trailer trash talk comic book edition. So I got to see the leaked footage of X-Men Apocalypse. Um, my first reaction was, man, Apocalypse looks stupid. And I was wondering how they were going to do that knowing the comic book. How are they going to physically make Apocalypse look on film? That being said, I felt the same way when I first saw Bane in uh, Dark Knight Rises, and I love that movie, so it could be nothing. Just from the trailer, that was my first reaction for Apocalypse. I didn't think he was imposing, I didn't really see why he was so feared, and I didn't quite understand what he was about yet. Again, trailers, small clips, I get it. Um, it's the X-Men. And with Brian Singer, the track record with that is pretty impressive. I really enjoyed Days of Future Past. I thought that movie was fantastic, and I really think it made X-Men First Class better, and it really redeemed the whole franchise. It's funny going back and watching X-Men 1 and uh, X2, they don't hold up all that fantastic. They're still entertaining movies, and I still enjoy them, especially X2. But there's still sort of this... Uh, uh, well, it's easy to say, 90s feel, because that's when they were made, but this sort of 90s marketing feel, like the, the costumes and making them a little different from the comic books so they could sell more figurines and stuff like that. And I just think they kind of moved past that with Days of Future Past, and we're just doing awesome stories. I am very excited to see this, especially with Brian Singer involved. I didn't honestly think the trailer was amazing, but again, it was a leaked trailer, and I'm so annoyed with the half screen, tilted camera, guys coughing and stuff, and just, it's like, come on, people. We all know it's a marketing ploy from the studios. Just shoot a nice one. You can have it look like it's still there and all that. Just make it at least straight so you get the whole thing on camera. Yes, I'm cynical. Yes, I'm, a, I'm an old man nerd. I get it. But it would be nice to just see it complete. So I wasn't thoroughly impressed as I was, say, with uh, Days of Future Past, but I don't think they necessarily need to be because they've got quite a good track record over the last two films that it's not like they need to convince us we have to see this movie because it's different. In fact, I'd like it to be more of the same because I thought it was fantastic. Our X-Men back. I uh, can't wait to see it. I'm bummed, and this has nothing to do with the trailer, I'm bummed that we're done with the Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart cast. That was just phenomenal storytelling, phenomenal actors interaction. I loved it. So I'm bummed that we're not going to get to see that. But at the same time, Michael Fassbender is just fantastic. So keep on rolling. Uh, McAvoy. Sorry, James McAvoy is also amazing. So let's see more. I like it. Can't wait to see that one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. X-Men Apocalypse Comic-Con Leaked Trailer.